What's going on everybody and welcome to your 20th jQuery tutorial in which we'll be looking at a CSS kind of selector which is nth child. Now if you have ever been working with CSS then this tutorial should be a cakewalk for you and you can probably skip this tutorial if you already know what nth child is but for those out there who don't know what is nth child and how it works then this tutorial is for you. So in very basic terms nth child is kind of a CSS selector which is a flexible one and allows you to basically work just like the EQ one which we learned in the previous tutorial but I'll show you how NH child is more flexible and has a greater advantage over EQ in this tutorial so let's see let's create a another list best for this and let's say hey buddy I am odd so let's create some copies of this and we have odd even then odd even and I hope you got the logic first li number one is odd then we have number two as even and then we have number three as odd then number four as even I'm talking about the number of orders here so first li which is the one li is even then second li which is the two li is uh, sorry one is odd then two is even and like that basic math so let's undo this and we're good to go now in the script section let's say I want to select the first li so with EQ what we used to do is li equals zero text now when we alert this X we will get the text inside this so let's alert this and we get hey buddy I'm odd because the first one is odd now similarly it would work with the nth child but in nth child you have to write it inside the selector and one thing different of nth child from EQ is in EQ the indexing starts from 0 like first element is 0 for EQ then second is 1 then third is 2 and like that but in nth child it works like the math style so in nth uh, the first one would be the first one actually so nth child 1 is first element nth child 2 is second element so like that it works and uh, basically you don't have anything like nth child 0 so uh, let's see this let's reload this and we get the same results hey buddy I'm odd because the first child which is the first element of li is odd so what the heck and why the heck am I teaching this and the main difference between uh, this tutorial and the previous tutorial is that of this concept with the help of nth child we can do pretty much like a variable selection for example let's say let's create some more lists and let's say odd even odd even odd so I have no idea how many they are so anyways that ain't important but let's say if I want to select every second ally down here for example this one then this one then this one then this one and basically all the odd or the even allies basically so how would I do that is I'll write variable X then li nth child now follow this carefully in this to supply a variable argument we do like use of the keyword n now this n keyword is very special this n letter because it specifies to uh, kind of for example if I supply 2n now it says first of all the CSS would find the number of elements the number of allies in the document it says there are one two three four five six seven eight elements and mm, so this uh, condition would run eight times so in first run n would be one so this selector would be two into one which is two in the second run second run 
n would be 2 then this would be 4 in the third run n would be 3 and this would be 2 in 2n which is 23 into 6 and this would keep on running unless li and the child is greater than the total length so basically with li and the child 2n what we are doing is uh, we are targeting every second element or basically every even element in the li list so let's see let's get the text of this or let's just apply some background let's just remove this and we'll use CSS basically not the background background yellow so let's see what happens now here is our browser let's reload this and as you can see every second li element is having a background of yellow so this n means that if you just write 2 then it would target only second element but if you use n then it would target only uh, not only the second element but every second element that is all the even elements and if you write 2n plus 1 now I guess you know now so what happens here is in the first run it targets, targets the first element which is the one element because n becomes 0 right now then it targets target is, uh, targets basically blah 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 uh, then it targets the third element because 2 into 1 plus 1 is 3 so 1 2 3 then in the next one the n becomes 2 then 2 into 2 4 plus 1 is 5 1 2 3 4 5 here we go and all like that so what would happen if I just use n here so n would literally mean that target all the elements so this kind of statement is equal to this only so basically any child has a greater advantage over EQ in terms of speed because nth child is a DOM API is a CSS property instead of jQuery and EQ is a jQuery method so it is comparatively slower than the uh, inbuilt DOM method and nth child allows you to have variable input without using much of the code so that's how you work with nth child and I hope you like this tutorial and if you have then don't forget to subscribe and keep watching I'll see you then next time.